think we're gonna go with this possum. This possum is looking at me like a dickhead. Get rid of it. Hi, I'm Seth. And as you can see, we are hard at work on our new show, Future Man, where Josh Hutcherson plays a time-traveling janitor who is desperately trying to save the future without completely fucking up the past. <gasps> Look who it is, Mr. Star of the show himself, Josh Hutcherson, what an amazing surprise. How's that a surprise? You told me to just stand here and wait. I know, shut the fuck up, follow me. Action is a big part of Future Man, so in order to make ours as insane as possible, for the first time in television history, we are using real, actual, working laser guns. Are you fucking kidding me? No. That's so dangerous. Why the hell would you do that? Uh, maybe because it's the platinum age of television. There's 2,000 fucking shows on TV right now, so if we want to, like, stand out at all, we gotta do something different. And that different thing is functioning right. laser guns. And we gotta take some fucking risks to set ourselves apart. This feels really unnecessary. Well, I completely disagree. I actually think it's pretty good. Cool. Oh, no! What the fuck? I told you! Shit. I told you! What? Ah! Oh no! Oh help! Oh help! Oh no! It's not that bad! It's not that bad! Uh, so you are playing the character of Dr. Stu. Camilo. Camillo, yeah. Camillo. I'm terrible with pronunciation. <laughs> That's right. um, how does he fit into the whole so, timeline of Future Man? Uh, he's an antagonist. He sort of bullies Josh when uh, uh, Josh is uh, working as a janitor in his okay. scientific facility. But um, yeah, as Josh starts to travel through time and all this weird stuff happens, like I serve uh, as kind of an antagonist in a lot of different ways as time travel sort of bends our reality. Okay. Um, who would you say is the biggest influence on your performance in Future Future Man. That's tough because Stu has like several forms that he appears in. Like okay. there's some more mellow forms, and as we travel through time, there's some more extreme forms. But um, uh, I, I'd always, I've always looked up to Gary Oldman uh, as an actor in a lot of ways, and doing a character like this where there's a lot of shape shifting, I think that he's sort of a fun guy to, to be influenced by. Very good. Um, so I'm seeing bits and pieces of like Terminator and Last Starfighter. Could we be expecting any other type of Easter egg like influences as, as the uh, episodes go? All the huge 80s action franchises get some form of Easter egg, some more obvious than others. Uh, but yeah, there, I was just we just watched the pilot again downstairs, and I was noticing Easter eggs that I hadn't seen before with awesome. Terminator and Easy Rider and stuff like that. So yeah, they've buried a lot in this series. Very nice. Yeah. Now, um, up to uh, you, you uh, what was your last movie? Sex Education. Uh, not, sex Ed. Yeah, yeah not your last ago, movie, but yeah. that's, uh, that was more of a comedic bend. Are you doing more action-oriented stuff in this show? <laughs> Love to do more action. Um, I think this this sort of follows a, a trend right now of doing a lot of uh, doing a lot of comedy because it's a really great time for comedy. There's a lot of great series being mm -hmm. made right now. I just did Silicon Valley, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's been a cool time for doing that. Wait, you were on Silicon Valley? Yes, I was. Yeah, this oh, past season. Awesome. Yeah. I've given me something to uh, look forward to. I need to binge on that one. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, and uh, for our. Would you mind saying into the lens? Totally fine if you don't want to. Um, I see dead people. I had to put a moratorium on it. I, I, I did my last one for Doug Stanhope a couple years ago. Haley, so. totally understandable. <laughs> uh, thank you for being such a cool All guy. Right, thanks a lot. Nice uh, talking. So, um, how would you describe your character of Tiger? How do I describe her? Yeah, yeah. in like terms of like sci-fi tropes. Tro Is that too specific? Well, she's she's like you know, what was Sarah Connor? Okay. And Terminator. Okay. Right? Now, would you say Sarah Connor is the biggest influence on your performance? No. I mean, I definitely have that in the back of my mind, but not, I mean, I kind of, they said it once and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. But then I do my own thing. Like, okay. what really the influence is, is like the actual situation. Okay. Now so you're up. How would I describe the character of Tiger? How would you describe your character? Oh, oh, cool. Uh, or a tiger, uh, whatever, whatever you choose. Uh, well, she's really angry. She's okay. an angry woman. Yeah. She's a very angry woman. Uh, no, Wolf is, um, he's, uh, he's the best part of me. Oh. <laughs> he's, uh, he's all, you know, brawn and anger at first, you think. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's fun to have the, the shell start to crack um, and see his sort of curiosity, his childlike mm. curiosity. Okay. Now, is it, does that, a lot of that curiosity come from more of like a fish out of water type situation from being a character from the future coming from the past? Sure, well also, you know, we we lived in sewers our whole lives and we come from a place where it's all about um, uh, 
war and fighting and, and uh, you know, death and to come into a world where we can eat food for the first time. Pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I see a lot of the last Starfighter and a lot of the Terminator, sure. and um, at least the pilot. Mm -hmm. Is there? Do you see more of that Easter egg, like super sci-fi influence, coming in as the season goes on? It's there's definitely a, a lot of tips. Yeah, to the I mean, there's homages to kind of everything, I think, and I think that's what makes it really cool is they don't just stick with one specific, you know, like monumental show that everybody or movie that everyone knows. Mm -hmm. yeah. They really. They really mix, well, I think, all of their favorite stuff in there. Yeah. I mean, it's very heavy in the pilot, I think, just to say, yeah. this is what the show yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also because I think they were, I mean, I think it's great because we're calling ourselves out before everyone can write on the comment board, like, that's just like this. Yeah. So. It's very self-aware, which is fun. It is. Okay. Well, speaking of, uh, no, not so much self-aware. Um, so what is your favorite science, science fiction movie? Uh, well, I mean... Uh, I'm, I love Terminator. I, I know, mean, I do too. it's like yeah. it's. I, I just actually rewatched it maybe within the last year, and it's it's really good. It's an incredible movie. I'm a big Back to the Future fan, even though that's not necessarily like I guess is it considered sci-fi? I consider mean, there's time travel. So. Time travel, absolutely. Flux capacitor. <laughs> yeah, you've got all oh, the right ingredients. I love those movies so much. Alien and Aliens also. I Never got into Alien, but really. I just, I, it's a little scary for me. I'm it not is a scary, scary, but that's what's Aliens fun. first. Okay. Totally different movie. Mm. Okay. <laughs> a lot more adventure than horror. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys so much thank for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks.